the New York Jets. Well, they knew where they wanted to go with it right away. They recognized the one-on-one -on -one matchup, went to the guy who was cold off the bench. Matt Dominguez just does a great job of out-jumping everybody. He's got the height advantage, showed the vertical leap. Went up, make a big play for his team. Is this the kind of play that is uh, designed the moment you see a guy like Ordway down on the field as long as he was? Absolutely. They recognized they were going to have to bring in Dave Donaldson off the bench, who was sitting there cold, had not played any defense. They saw one-on-one. -on -one. They set it up by formation, got what they wanted. Henry Burris just throws it in the air and says, my guy's going to go make me a play. Matt Dominguez, welcome back to Saskatchewan. He felt he should have made the New York Jets. In fact, he says that the team told him he was simply a victim of numbers. They've got receivers in New York like Wayne Quebec, Santana Moss, Justin McCarron. He said, I had the team made, played most of the preseason games, in fact, played in all four of them. He said, I was just a victim of numbers down in New York. I can relate. There's a lot of guys that have been down in the NFL, played very, very well. And it's a very sophisticated situation down there with free agency, salary caps, you know, the amount of guys that they carry on a roster. There's a lot of guys that are playing in this league and in the NFL Europe and what have you that are good enough to be playing in the NFL and just aren't. Chronic takes the kickoff from McCallum. Gets off over the 30 before Juan Epps makes the tackle. And the Renegades, as Kerry Joseph runs back onto the field, have been plagued by inconsistency on the offensive line. You move a guy from right tackle to left tackle, and they've done that kind of thing. Why is that so difficult for a player to adjust to those positions? Playing guard, playing tackle, you know, is as different as playing goalie and playing winger in hockey. I mean, they're really night and day, although they seem like they're three feet apart. And even flipping, you know, flip-flopping on wide side and short side, when you've had to do that as much as they have, you're bound to have some battles and struggles. Curtis Jackson on the hitch pass from Joseph. Benefield is there. The Renegades have one of the top offensive linemen prospects in the game in Abi Khan, who can substitute in from time to time. In fact, over the course of the season, he's played three different positions, be it tackle or guard. He was picked up in that big Calgary trade in the offseason with the draft pick that the Renegades acquired. Second and three. Rolling out the pitch to Ronick. And he's close to a first down. Once again, once again, Dave Benefield is there. It's a classic speed option here from the Ottawa offense. This is a play that typically works very, very well at the collegiate level, both here in Canada and down in the U.S. But at the professional level, the guys are simply too fast. What you're trying to do is just create a mismatch on numbers. You see him read Lamont Bryant at the end. If he takes the quarterback, you pitch it. Well, he does. You get the block there on, on Reggie Hunt, but then there's the pursuit. Middle linebackers, Nico Sinek.